As things are changing and we're having to adapt more and more to online communications, many of us are looking for ways to improve how we sound. Today I want to talk about a very low cost, very functional way to reduce much of your background sound when you're using Zoom, Teams, or Skype. If you want to learn more about this cool device, then stay tuned for the rest of this video. And if you haven't already done so, then please subscribe and click the notifications icon so you'll be notified of any new content. So let's take a look at the hardware itself. Basically the device has a USB-C plug and the housing actually contains all of the electronics and noise canceling, which is pretty amazing in and of itself. On the other end you get a 3.5mm jack for your headset, your microphone, whatever you're going to plug into it where you're looking to do some noise canceling. In addition, this comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter so that you can basically attach to virtually anything. I have tested this on my iPad, I've tested it on my Mac, and I've tested it on a laptop, and all of it performed really well. So let's get into testing it and so you can see the sound difference and what, it, what impact it has on your communications. So when you're doing your Zoom call, your, your Skype, or your Teams, you can get a lot more clarity from your sound. To demonstrate this, I'm going to record a few samples using a variety of devices such as the iPad, a Mac Air, and a Razer Stealth laptop running Windows, just to give you a blend of how each performs. As I mentioned, all of the sound clips were recorded on a Deity D3 Pro microphone, and I used the generic USB audio interface for all the testing without the ASUS noise cancelling. I have a large room air conditioner sitting about 4 feet behind me turned all the way up, and I'll record each short sample with the AC on, both with and without the device active, so you can hear the difference. The clips you hear will be right off the recorder, unprocessed, except for the normalizing of the levels of each clip. This first sample is right off the iPad. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of true passion for tech and in hopes that I can share my experiences to help others. I will continue to produce the most helpful content I can and I appreciate all your comments and suggestions. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of the true passion for tech in hopes that I can share my experiences to help others. I will continue to produce the most helpful content I can and I appreciate all of your comments and suggestions. This next clip was recorded off of a Mac Air using GarageBand. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of true passion for tech and in hopes that I can share my experiences to help others. I'll continue to produce the most helpful content I can, and I appreciate all your comments and suggestions. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of true passion for tech and in hopes that I can share my experiences to help others. I will continue to produce the most helpful content I can, and I appreciate all of your comments and suggestions. And lastly, this was recorded off of my Windows laptop using Audition. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of true passion for tech and in hopes that I can share my experiences to help others. I will continue to produce the most helpful content I can and I appreciate all your comments and suggestions. Being a technology enthusiast for many years, I do these videos out of true passion for tech and in hopes I can share my experiences to help others. I will continue to produce the most helpful content I can and I appreciate your comments and suggestions. I think the impact of this device on the quality of sound is pretty obvious, and for the price, it's a pretty amazing product. It's a great tool for your Zoom, Skype, or Team sessions to help cut out some of the background noise. You can argue that it can't adjust um, how much noise suppression that you get, but for the price, it's really difficult to care, and the results pretty much speak for themselves. Anyway, that's about it for this short video, and I hope you found it useful. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below in case you want to check it out. If you haven't already done so, then please subscribe and click that notifications icon so you'll be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.